The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. And today we are going to do chapter number nine, Mr. Thomas Marvel. Thomas Marvel is going to be a very important character as we have already discussed in the list of characters that after the protagonist he is the second most important character and he goes on up till the end of the novel after this and the list of characters of chapter 9 of course the invisible man is there and Thomas Marvel who is introduced in this chapter. So chapter number 9 when we start discussing this chapter we realize that this chapter the events in this chapter will have their bearing in chapters which are going to come after this. So in this chapter there is an introduction to a very important character as I have already told you whose name is Thomas Marvel and this man as you will start reading the chapter the very first paragraph gives us a description he is a homeless tramp who is a tramp somebody who does not have a permanent place to live he is a homeless tramp he is a drunkard he he is mostly drunk he is very poor and depends upon charity so his condition is more or less like that of a beggar who is depending upon charity and he does no work to sustain himself and uh, when we meet him he is sitting by the side of the road it is some kind of a ditch you know and he is contemplating two pairs of old charity boots so he has got two pairs of boots both of them are in poor condition and he is just contemplating he is thinking which ones are better to wear so he is talking to himself and the um, um, as the man is talking to himself he suddenly hears the voice of the invisible man is heard and he he means marvel answers the voice thinking that a man standing behind him is talking. So he thinks that you know I am sitting here and somebody must be sitting uh, standing behind me and asking me a question and he answers the question but uh, soon he realizes that he is talking to he soon realizes that he is talking to a bodiless voice. What does a bodiless voice means? That it is only a, the sound that is coming and there is nobody to be seen. Uh, he obviously does not think that there must be somebody called the invisible man. He thinks that either he himself is drunk or mad to be hearing voices in thin air so he thinks that this must be the result of some drink that he has taken or he has probably gone mad and griffin he tries to prove that you know you are not mad you are not drunk i am really there griffin proves his presence by throwing stones at him so he throws stones at him so stones and pebbles come and strike Mr. Marvel and then he realizes that somebody is there I am not mad it is actually some person whom I cannot see so Griffin proves his presence by throwing stones at him and he proves 
that he is the invisible man he proves the fact that he is invisible and what does griffin want from him why does griffin talk to him this is a good question because griffin has been moving and he hasn't talked to anybody but he chooses this man and the reason is he that is marvel must help him that is the invisible man in getting back his clothes um and his stuff from iping so this is the reason why he talks to him he says okay you do something for me you go to this place i will take you to this place i cannot take my stuff myself but you go and you get my stuff my clothes and my books and whatever from this place called iping and he offers marvel great benefits he says okay if you come and you help me you are going to get great benefits because the invisible man is a man of great power and you will benefit from my powers he says and great benefits and he uses threats see marvel is actually shown to be a very timid man pretty frightened man so he threatens him he uses threats uh, so that marvel accepts the proposal he accepts the job that he, okay fine i will help you so uh, this is it for the chapter this is what happens and we still have to do the significance of this chapter and uh, the most important thing about this chapter is marvel this man is introduced to the reader his physical description is given and as i have already told you in chapter 1 when we had done the physical description of the stranger that whenever we attempt an answer for example you get an get get a question on the character of marvel you first begin with how this man looks and behaves this is the very first thing and hence this uh, chapter gives us this physical description of this man the invisible man is looking for an accomplice so now he cannot do things by himself he is looking for an accomplice and for this reason he chooses marvel and if you ask me why he chooses marvel and nobody else there could easily be three reasons for this and the first reason was would be that he is a homeless man he is a tramp he has no permanent residence so nobody would be looking for him actually and he has no family and no loved ones so this is important even if he takes him somewhere nobody would be asking any questions and the last reason is the invisible man himself cannot go back where he cannot go back to iping and he really wants his stuff back the stuff apart from the clothes his his experimental stuff is so important that he wants his stuff back 